Didi, what do you think made you guys connect? Uh, I don't know, the love that we have for each other and then, you know, too after she explained to me, because that was the first time that I heard about the Down syndrome uh, situation. And, you know, I fell in love with my little girl. Uh, what do you think made you lean in to a situation like that as opposed to, you know, running the other way? Because, you know, here she is, you know, you're on one of your early few dates, I think, and she <laughs> says, by the way, I have a daughter with Down syndrome who's only weeks old. Well, I've, if I had to say right now, knowing what I know through Christ, it's like that was the Lord plan that he has for me. And I would have to say that it was meant to be, man. We were meant to be, to be connected. And, you know, it's, it's been great. So you have five kids now. Biggest challenge with having five kids? Like kind of understand their personality, you know, uh, it's really challenging and knowing, you know, what they like, uh, you know, they've been kind of, I won't say living in my shadow, but like this, you know, being traveling for 20 years and, you know, the job that Daz does and, you know, he's obviously a, a famous baseball player. Um, you know, just all that, like to explain to them all, all that stuff, and you say, hey, "Listen, you, you just be you, just be you," and and try to, especially with AJ. I remember my biggest challenge with him. He wanted to be a baseball player so bad, but I I, I think it kind of got to him. He was a great player, and uh, you know, he was a good little player, and it was kind of like he felt that pressure, you know, that he wants to be as good as that, and he wants to. And it kind of got to hang. And I remember the time that he told me, Dad, I don't want to play baseball. Um, I wanted to play golf. And it was like, thank you, Lord, you know, because I saw that release on him that, that it was getting, baseball was getting to him. How about the best and worst part of having a really successful dad? <laughs> best part? I mean, he's still a dad. He's still my dad throughout the success that he's had throughout his career. Every, every night when he comes home from, from playing a game, he's still the same dad always. Throughout the failures, throughout the awards, nothing changes in his heart and he's, he's awesome. In what ways is he motivating? He tells me to keep going. No matter how much I fail, no matter how much, how much trouble I'm going through, he always helps me push to the end. On the golf course when I'm playing, you know, I, I'll play my rounds and I'll call him right after. I'm like, Dad, I just got off the course. I just shot 87. I never play like this. This is terrible. And he'll call me. He's like, buddy, there's days where I go 0 for 4, 0 for 5, 0 for 6 with three strikeouts and I don't get a hit and I'll go in a slump. But do you ever see me back down? I'm always standing there. I'm always fighting. I'm always pushing. He always tells me to stand up and I've got it. How competitive are the two of you with one another? <laughs> when it comes when it comes to sports, anything really, video games, sports, board games, we're always we're always pushing to beat one another. And it's just the father son thing that we have with each other and So who wins more? He does. But I'm sure there have been times where I've had the fair win on some things, on the course, or playing basketball, whatever it is. Yeah, but, are there certain things he has kind of your number in and oh, vice versa? He has my number in everything we play because he can get in my head mentally. What, so what will he do? <laughs> oh, you know, if we're playing on the course and he hits a good shot and I have to hit after him, he's in my head like, follow that, try to do that, do this and that and the other. He can play mind games. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very challenging to face, but it's fun.